A young mother's desperate journey through the Appalachian wilderness in the 18th century is our story today. Jenny Wiley was born in Pennsylvania in the 1760s. In the 1780s, she and her husband struck out on their own, building a farm on the Appalachian frontier. Her life, though, was about to take a tragic turn. One day in 1789, Jenny was at home with her children while her husband was away. Little did she know, danger lurked nearby. Hearing the ominous sounds of owls in broad daylight, a neighbor warned Jenny that that was the sound of Shawnee and Cherokee warriors talking to one another. He offered her and the children shelter for the night, which she accepted. But before she could gather the children and head out the door, the house was attacked. The Indians stormed her cabin, leaving a trail of devastation. Jenny watched helplessly as her loved ones, including her younger brother, fell victim to the savagery. Only her baby survived. Her infant clutched in her arms, Jenny, who was also pregnant at the time, faced the unimaginable, a harrowing journey into the unknown. Through wilderness and hardship, she struggled to survive, enduring loss after loss, including the killing of her infant child and the child born to her in captivity. She was kept alive as a hostage and slave by her captors for 11 months, testing her resilience to its limits. But amid the chaos, a chance for freedom emerged. With lightning as her ally, she made a break for it. Jenny found safety and a way back to her husband. Her courage didn't end there though. She rebuilt her life, starting a new family in the mountains she once called home. Her legacy lives on in the land she traversed, now honored at Jenny Wiley State Resort Park in Kentucky. Jenny Wiley's story is one of survival against all odds, one of the stories of Appalachia. If you like this tale, please be sure to like, comment, and follow for more stories of Appalachia. Thanks for watching.